Welcome to Vindao's concept. And a few days ago when I uploaded the practical, I promised that I'm going to be doing a demonstration to show how to measure the angles of a triangular prism. And now you have it. Please don't forget to share this video, like and comment. It's going to encourage us to come up with more content. Now on the practical, all you need to do is to get a an A4 paper. You can use a paper tape to do your masking to attach it on the board or you can use the thumb pin. Look at the thumb pin there. I'm, I'm sure you are seeing it. Is it called the thumb pin? And you need a board. The board is that um, kind of triangular, I mean rectangular brown on which the paper is placed. Then use your masking tape, attach your paper on the board, ensure a very neat to work. Now keep attaching. When you are done, and if you are seeing this video for the first time, remember that the full experiment has been conducted. And you check my channel, and then place the rectangular prism on the paper. Get your ruler and get your protractor. As you can see them, then use your pencil position it at your convenience. Mark out the outline of the triangular prism by marking out their outlines. Then remove your prison, complete the triangle with your ruler. Okay, I'm sure you're seeing it. Mark some point A, B, C. Okay, let me make sure that you see it very well. Because I think you it's not very visible. Let me use this to make you see it better. That does not mean in a practical you are going to use pen. It is pencil. I'm doing this to add the vision, visibility of the outlines, ABC, of the triangular prism. Make a point on one side of the triangular prism. Make a point on one side, mostly to third of the length of AB. Make a point, make sure that that particular point is visible on that line so that you can use it for something. Then use your protractor. This is where the job is the most important thing. That is a cross at the particular dot on the protractor. That particular dot you are seeing there now. And then there is a horizontal line that cross through that dot I showed you on the protractor. This is where the job is. That point you made on the line AB of the triangular prism. Make sure that that your dot place at that particular point. Adjust the position and make sure that line AB matches the the horizontal line of the protractor that is where the main thing is because that is where you want your angle to be then place it firmly so that they will coincide and adjust it so much check if they have really aligned 
then when you do that and you are sure that it is correct make a point at angle 90 what you want to do here is to draw a perpendicular line called normal on the face ab now when you have made that point use your ruler and join it and join it and now you've made a perpendicular line then call it normal that end i wrote there then um we'll call this one now so let's go to the incident angle because your normal must be your angle with the normal is called the incident angle i said with the normal so let's measure an angle i 25 degree with respect to the normal so place it again the way you did it but you can still do it at the same time that is when you have mastered the process i like to teach people who are struggling and i'm trying my best to explain it so that the person will get it so match it again then count 25 degree from 90 backward so that is 10 10 this one now the next one is going to be that is then 10 20 and 30 but we are looking for 25 at the middle between 20 and 30 and that middle i'll make that point now i'll make that point i hope you are seeing that point then i'm going to join it to that particular point i made on the line ab of the triangle And I'm going to, you see, that line is now with the normal. That line I'm drawing now, we'll call it the incident angle, and which is 25 degree in my case. Now your work is coming. You are building it. Now you have measured angle 25 degrees with the normal. Then let me show you that this is perpendicular by giving you that perpendicularity sign or symbol then i can place my prison back on the outlines i made but before i do this sometimes i may decide to put my pin on the line on the incident ray but i have already put my triangular prison no case no issue so this is my triangular prison i'm trying to show you different angles different dimensions for you to see how it is well placed on the line i made Now this is where you this is where you now bring your pins P1, P2 or R1, R2 according to the question, the way question want to place it. So get your pin, go to that line I made, the angle that I measured, that line, on that line, on that line, carefully place your pin. Because that is, why, that is why it should be a pin. You place it strong so that it can stand erect. When you have done this, you can now go to the other side. There is another side, AC. You can go there, stay there, and view. And view. Because the angle is a little small, and uh, seeing it may be somehow... It's not difficult. I won't say it's difficult. If you look at it very well from that side, AC, don't look at it from the side BC, but side AC, then you can place your pin 3 and pin 4 so that they will appear to be coming from the image you are seeing from AC. If you don't know how to do it, you can call for help so that people can make you see it. Then remove your pin call it p4 call it p3 so that you know where your pins are then this one is p1 and this is p2 now when you are through with this process your work is coming close to an end make sure that those two lines you made p3 and p4 you join them straight to the line ac to the to the to the side ac of the triangular prison ensure that you are you are very sure then i can also extend that line we we'll call it the emergent ray 
this one I have drawn now is the emergent ray. This is the ray going out from the glass to the air again. Then join from the incident ray back to that point. Okay, I'm extending the normal now. I'm extending that normal. I mean, what I extended was the incident ray. You know, we have incident ray, we have the emergent ray. Now, I'm making a point on the face AC, the same thing I made on the face AB. I'm making a point where I'm going to draw my normal at AC again, just like I did at AB. Now, I'm making my normal, I'm repeating what I did on the other side of the triangular prism. So, making it to align, I'm making my my middle to match the point i made on that side make it to match very well then i'll point at the side 90 degree to draw my straight line now this is my angle 90 degree you see the angle made with the emergent ray we'll call it emergent angle that is the emergent angle e and I'm extending angle 90 of the face AC. I'm also going to extend angle 90 of the face AB. And then they will join. Then I want to draw the refracted ray. So that is joining from 90 of AB to 90 of AC. When I join it, I have made a refracted ray. Refracted ray. And we have this one now. The refracted ray, the line. The angle made with angle 90 inside the glass for the two sides AB and AC but I just written for the other side now the point of intersection between the incident and emergent ray they are called deviation angle of deviation angle of deviation you can consult your textbook to confirm a few of these then I want to measure that emergent angle to find the value most because most times you need it so how do you measure that angle look at that same point on the protractor make it match on the point you want to and let the horizontal line of protractor match the horizontal line you want to the angle to be measured if you still don't understand you can ask a question Now, your angle is going to start from 90 and count backward to meet the line called emergent ray. So, you count backward and stop a particular place and that is my 80 degree. My emergent ray in this case is 80 degrees. And my job is done. Well, you can also measure the angle mix with the normal okay and this is where i think the video might have been a help to you please if it does don't forget to share this video like and comment to encourage us thank you very much and i wish you success in your exam and your study of physics have a nice time